So we have a, we now have a discussion section of uh, next steps for open force field. And this is really a lot of the aim of uh, day two is to, uh, you know, we've heard about progress on day one. We've heard about some uh, potential directions. We've heard about AI, which I think can stimulate some thinking. And now we really have an open discussion, uh, which in principle was going to end at 1230, but we could potentially flow, what's it? flow into the next component. I think lunch is at one. Um, and Carmen, I guess you're uh, taking notes, so that's awesome. Um, and so some of what this comes down to is uh, with all the different possible directions that we could be taking, uh, what are our priorities? What are our near term and what should be thinking at more strategically? And these are some potential rationales for putting a piece of work at high priority. One of them is that it's low hanging fruit. It's easy to implement, not too expensive. We can just grab it and do it. Another one is that it could be a high anticipated improvement in accuracy. You know, there could be, maybe you have to work harder, but it's, we anticipate that it's gonna be really valuable. Another one is to invest in infrastructure, so software, data, and so forth, that may not give us a new force field in the next quarter, but may let us really crank things out and improve things uh, over the coming year or year and a half or two years. Uh, and another potential rationale, and this goes to discussions that uh, we had earlier, are how to uh, make the case for continued funding, how to best serve um, our industry partners and convince uh, managers. <laughs> so I uh, sort of broke the topics into three areas. We can discuss aims for the next major open force. Uh, Mike, yeah. may I uh, just interrupt? I can't see the slides. Oh, my bad. Okay, I'll make sure we got you shared. Sorry about that. Thanks. Yeah, thanks for speaking up. I got it now? Here we go, thanks. Okay, uh, that's all you missed. <laughs> What's that? What's that? Okay, thanks. Yeah, so what, what are priorities for uh, moving, getting into the next major open force release, which I guess after partially is SAGE, as well as uh, possible interim releases along the way? Um, what about, uh, what are the foci for software development? And uh, what scientific advances do we want to be investing in that can fold in later? And I guess, I mean, part of the way that I think about this is, I mean, we've talked about roadmaps as part of the project, and you know, it's nice to have a roadmap that says what you're gonna be doing in six months, a year, 18 months, whatever. But I, I think I think of it a little bit more like, uh, you know, we're here and uh, we wanna go, we wanna make improvements. And then there's this whole world of possible things that we could be doing. You know, there's improved charge models, there's improved uh, uh, optimization methods. And, and really what we wanna do is that people can be working on these other components uh, potentially not even funded by open force field directly because a lot of us are doing research on force fields uh, in our own labs. So there's things that are cooking out there and eventually, uh, whether funded by open force field or not, something reaches a stage of maturity where we realize, oh, maybe that should be in the next uh, you know, three to six, six month uh, roadmap for our work. So if something gets pulled in, gets funded and gets moved to higher priority. So I think there, that's at least how I'm thinking about um, how to structure the work. It's sort of, there's science going on, and then there's uh, how, you know, what the plan is for the next, for the coming months. And I think we can think about both aspects in the discussion today, but I think the most pressing obviously is um, what should we be doing, what should we be focusing on in the next three to six months based on these kinds of criteria. So, um, so I've got three points here. There's the next major release, there's software development, and there's scientific advances. These are all areas where we can invest effort uh, and resources. And, and so basically there's gonna be a slide for each one of these. This is for the next release. This is things we could do for software development, so they truncated at the bottom, but I guess we'll survive. Um, and then this is um, potential scientific aims 
and again, some of the scientific stuff in particular, and maybe other aspects as well, are probably being developed to some degree by in the PI labs um, in any case. But it's as we move into production that we really have to think about what the goals are for OpenFF. So really what I want to do is open it up for discussion now. I, don't, I mean, some, some decisions will be made now, but hopefully we can at least surface a lot of the issues and considerations. So uh, I really want to open it up. So uh, aims for the next open force field release. One question is what's the target release date? Then I have here priorities for development. So there's sort of lower hanging fruit. So keep on pushing on torsions. So this, this is work that really needs to be done, I think, to improve the small molecule conformational preferences and it's in process. So that probably is on the map, I imagine. Electrostatics models, there's some reasonably low hanging fruit here, I think. Next, there's a selection of fitting data. What data set, uh, expansion of the data set. I'm not sure those are really that different. Um, chemical perception. And then some of the more, let me just try to resolve this screen issue. Oh yeah, 